to top five mids all time. Uh, Faker, Rookie, Chovy. Let's think about this question more. Alright。So Rambin,射自己的一个机会。是，我觉得你刚刚聊到最重要一个点，就是我觉得UP的对线在这把其实对我非常好的，包括越开在中路，频繁利用自己的这种。对UP这把线全利用的很好。嗯，可以看一下最
Uh, bro, like, I, I, I am an ancient relic. I watched all of those games, guys. I watched all of those games. And, um... That crown was not the best mid lane. <laughs> I think that crown 2016, 2016 crown was insane. 2016 crown was like really, really insane. It feels so sad because Pawn, Pawn's career, like in terms of the injuries he suffered, like Pawn should have been the mid lane of KT 2018. And no joke, it could have been the difference between. It could have been. It could have been the difference. Yeah, Samsung White Pawn. I, I remember Pawn Jace. It was crazy. Absolutely crazy. The issue, Perks is suffering from the same issue that Jiaohu did, right? I think Perks 2018, 2017, 2016, Perks was insanely good, but at an LEC level, I think internationally G2 was a disappointment at MSI, for example, and also World 2016, big disappointment. They were in a group, they were in a group with a Russian team, and they didn't get out. Albus Nox Luna went out of a group with G2 and Seal G. And then 2017, I do think 2017 MSI was really good for Perks. 2017 Worlds was really good for Perks, even though that they didn't get out of group. And then 2018 Worlds was insane, right? It's like that, that game fire, that RNG series was for sure one of the best Western performances of all time. It's, it's insane how good it was. 2019 though, 80 carry dominance, one of the best 80s in the world. And I can't put that into the mid lane conversation, you know? Yeah, Showmaker, Showmaker has higher peak for sure. I think Showmaker 2020 was one of the best tournament performances of all time too. Rookie Faker, Zeka, Showmaker hold like the best performances of all time. As an individual player, you know? I think 2020 Damwon was one of the most dialed in teams of all time, like in terms of precision. It was, it was crazy how dialed in it is. How can you judge a player like Rookie who has been on some of the worst rosters of a gold tier player? Yeah, like, it's just eye test, you know? No, it's a fun conversation because we're dealing with a lot of information, right? So it's like bias really gonna sh shine through.